Falcon Heavy is in startup. And that means the Falcon Heavy's flight computer is now in control and will guide the rocket through the last seconds before liftoff. SpaceX launch director, go for the launch. All systems are go to send NOAA's GOZU satellite into space to keep a watchful eye over the Western Hemisphere, helping scientists and meteorologists to issue timely warnings and forecasts. T minus 30 seconds. This will be NASA's Launch Services Program's 16th mission for NOAA. A great partnership over the years we've had. Looking forward to this launch. 15 seconds. And here we go. 10, 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go, go, you. Liftoff of Goes You, NOAA's new to, newest Vehicle weather satellite to monitor the Earth and Sun in high definition. Engines look nominal. Things looking good as you see uh, the Falcon Heavy soaring towards the heavens. Uh, all 27 engines powerfully lifting goes you on its trajectory and ascent into space. A beautiful shot as we track telemetry nominal. the rocket from the ground here. The rocket is now powering down for Max-Q. Max-Q is the moment of maximum dynamic pressure on the rocket. Max-Q expected at one minute, seven seconds. The vehicle is now supersonic. Falcon Heavy is supersonic. Traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. There we heard the call for Max Q, maximum dynamic pressure on the Falcon Heavy. Vehicle still performs very well, looking all the data looks nominal. A great shot from on board the rocket, looking down on the earth that it is leaving. <laughs> And all 27 Merlin engines providing 5.1 million pounds of thrust. Coming up at T uh, plus 2 minutes and 28 seconds, the side boosters are going to shut off while the center core will continue on. Wow, what a shot there of, again, all 27 Merlin engines firing off. 5.1 million pounds of thrust. The uh, side booster cutoff will be referred to as BECO. We'll hear that call out. And then when the center core shuts off later in flight, we'll hear that called as main engine cutoff or MECO. Side boosters are perform uh, all, all boosters are performing nominally. Everything's looking good with the 27 Merlin engines. Side booster separation confirmed. There we see Biko and side booster. MVAC chill. Side booster uh, separation. The MVAC is being chilled down, getting ready for ignition. Once the center core. Y uh, and Y boost back startup. And there we heard the call out for boost back startup. A lot of things happening here. So again, we have the two boosters that are going to be returning to uh, the Cape here, landing at landing zones one and two. These two boosters have three burns, so we're seeing a boost back burn All vehicles now. Essentially, are following nominal trajectories. Essentially, these boosters have flipped back and are returning on a path to the Cape here. There will be two more burns: a, a reentry burn and then a landing burn. And these are going to provide quite a show for folks that are here on the Space Coast because you're going to hear those sonic booms, Mick. Yeah, absolutely. We are uh, looking forward to those sonic booms as the side boosters land at landing zone one and two. Uh, we're about uh, 26 seconds away from main engine cutoff and the center core separating. Once the center core separates, we will then have MVAC, which is the Merlin vacuum engine for space, uh, starting.